Welcome to Vancouver Business Network, where entrepreneurs learn, network, and grow. I'm Roger Killen, the organizer. Today, Jill Lublin is training us on how to stay visible in uncertain times with free publicity. Jill, I've got a couple of questions that will help the audience to get to know you at a more personal level. The first question is, well, please share with us your greatest accomplishment. Mm. For first of all, I'm, I'm so grateful to be here with you and with all of your peeps. Uh, thrilling, and I appreciate it. You know, um, the biggest accomplishment is, is really, I think, really my first book, Guerrilla Publicity, because there's something about that first big thing, you know, for me, Jill, in my case, Jill, it was Jill, writing my Jill, first Jill, book, Jill, Jill, and I remember getting it that mic. day. Jill, yes. there's something the matter with your audio. Yes. Uh, That's better now. I don't know what to do. Well, Is it? Okay, great. Perfect now. Um, so... Oh, excellent. So I was saying about uh, the first book I wrote, Guerrilla Publicity, and getting that and having that be like, wow, um, kind of like, you know, when, uh, when have you ever seen a chicken hatch little chicks, and they peek, peek, peek out of their beautiful shell. That's what it felt like to me having my first book, like, wow, holding it in my hand. Uh, very exciting. So thank you. That was my, I'll call it biggest first accomplishment. Not Wonderful. my first accomplishment but my biggest. <laughs> Wonderful. A lot of my author friends say the, exactly the same thing, that they hold that tangible physical book in their hands and it represents months and months and months and thousands of hours of sweat pouring out of their forehead and it just is a symbol of their accomplishment. So great. Now, my second question uh, is uh, uh, about your favorite quote. Uh, what is your favorite quote and why is it your favorite? Mm. So, you know, there are a few, um, but my favorite that I actually have up in my office is Abraham Lincoln. You and I were talking a little, a little bit before how funny enough today you were talking about Abraham Lincoln. So he must be in the air today. But one of the things he said is whatever you are, be a good one. I like to live <laughs> by that. Good old Abe. He said some profound things. Thanks for sharing that, Jill. Uh, participants, uh, you'll be sent a link to the recording of this talk, <clears throat> uh, maybe even later this evening, but certainly no later than mid-morning tomorrow. Uh, but I encourage you to take notes anyway, because taking notes will increase what you absorb by as much as 30%. Jill, are you ready to rock the stage? I am ready. <laughs> and the stage is all yours. Take her away. Oh, thank you so much. So first of all, again, Roger, I just want to thank you for who you are in the world and appreciate you. You're amazing. So kudos to Roger for bringing us all here together and so appreciate you. Um, you know, the, the thing about the power of what publicity is, and that's what I'm going to share with you tonight, is really uh, connecting in to who you are and what you're offering. And I'm going to teach you how to do that and do it in very simple ways. But I want to tell you a little bit also about the structure, uh, is that the first part Tonight, I will be giving you lots of great content and good examples and case studies. And there will be times I'm going to ask you to put your answers in the chat. So pay attention because I would like some interaction with you on the chat and some great ways for us to play together. And then additionally, uh, at the end of that, I'm going to ask for you to come in, ask some questions. I'm going to play with you. You can do some hot seating. So just FYI, uh, you know, the first half or so will be uh, lots of me pouring into you. And then the second half will be answering your questions and helping you with your specific ones. So if there is something that comes to your brain and you're that kind of person that needs to get it out right away, go ahead and 
post it in the chat where I can. We'll take some moments to answer those questions specifically for you. So happy to do that where I can. Um, but just you know, letting you know how the evening will proceed would be, I think, quite helpful for all of you. And Clint, I know uh, you were supposed to go ahead and put up the first slide, please, would be great. And he's admitting people and all kinds of fun is happening. So first excited. Slide. First slide is up. Oh, great. OK, perfect. So we're excited to be here with all of you tonight. Um, you know, my friend P.T. Barnum, he said it best, and that is a terrible thing happens without publicity. Nothing, <laughs> right? And so I know that's why Roger wanted me to be here with you today, was to really give you that opportunity to get your name out there, to understand how this wonderful world of publicity works. And that's my intention and goal for you tonight, is to give you the how does publicity work and what can you do to create it to get you more publicity. And as we're looking at this wonderful a wonderful word called publicity. I want to ask you, what does publicity do for you? Do me a favor, start typing in the chat now. What do you think publicity does for you? Let me see some of your answers. We'll take a moment as you take a moment and tell me awareness of your solution. Thank you. Builds credibility. Absolutely. Gains customers. Thank you. Yes, authenticity or authority actually, boosting your visibility. Yes, oh, you, it's a terrific visibility, dollars I'm seeing, absolutely. Spreads your message and absolute, thank you, gets you noticed. Yes, oh, you guys are so good, generates leads. Mm -hmm. They're going so fast, some of them I can't read, but you all can, so thank you, I love that. It helps you to get known. Yes, 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 you're on it promotes your resources and provides resources, absolutely. Get your name out there, thank you. Thank you for all that, that was beautiful and you're on it and you got it because here's what I know. And I'm gonna show you on the slide some of what I think are the most important. So many of you hit it right on the, right on the button, right on the nose and I'm gonna show you some of the other things and make you a, shall we say, official list of what publicity does. So first of all, most importantly, it gives you high return on investment. You know, like what are you doing publicity for? Yes, you need to get return on investment. And let me just share with you so many ways that that happens because what you're gonna do is you're gonna get increased prospects, right? You're gonna get more sales. You're gonna increase your trust in today's marketplace. You need to be creating trust in the marketplace. That is so essential so that people know your name. I call that the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. You're gonna get more credibility and more visibility. You're gonna get more clients. You're gonna get more money and more exposure in the marketplace. And I only mean the good kind. So those are some really what I think most important reasons that you wanna do publicity. So here's the bottom line. Publicity equals influence equals impact. Be sure to write these down and make sure by the way that you're ready to take notes because I'm gonna give you lots of content tonight. You're gonna wanna be taking notes. Write this one down. Publicity equals impact equals influence. You can move the words around whatever way you want because no matter what, when you do publicity, people are gonna hear your name, know your name, and believe me, my friends, that's important. I'll show you why it's important. You know, some of you might wanna get a book done, and let me share with you that that's a beautiful thing if you want to, I think it's great. Um, if you don't have a book, you have a product or service, maybe even, you know, you're a consultant, it's all good. Because what, what I'm gonna to say to you is, the power of getting your name out there is what's going to get you that kind of impact and influence. You know, one of the things uh, that maybe you don't know is I've actually been helping people get book deals for over 18 years without a word written. Did you hear that part? Some of these people do not have a word written. So I want to show you it's on the screen but I'm gonna show you this book. I'm so excited. Uh, Susie Carter, who actually used to work with Lisa Nichols, 
She's amazing. Has a brand new book out. This is within the past 60 days. Now, three years ago, when I actually pitched this book to major publishers and agents, not a word was written. The reason Susie got a six figure book deal was Simon and & Schuster. And I was the one who got her, the agent who got her that book deal. The reason that happened is because Susie has influence, which is because of her publicity, her impact. Some of you might know T. Harv Eker. He's actually from Vancouver. And the CEO of his organization was Adam Markell. And I got Adam this book deal with Simon & Schuster, same reason, because he had influence and publicity and impact, right? So that's why a major publisher would say yes to him. But I'm going to tell you, because I've been also helping self-published authors get foreign rights deals for years. In fact, Profit of Kindness is now out in India and in Russia. So excited about that. All of that's about having influence, right? But I'm going to tell you, you don't have to have a book to get publicity. In fact, many of my clients are financial advisors, coaches, consultants, chiropractors, all kinds of industry uh, all kinds of industries and across industries, real estate. And, you know, here's what I've discovered. The truth is, no matter what industry you're in, publicity will build that level of recognition so that more people know your name, feel trusted, like a trust in you, right? They'll understand what you do. And with that, I want to suggest to you that you want to be planting your publicity garden. And you want to plant it now. When? Now. So that, well, for what is relevant right now, because some of you may have a relevant story for right now, more about that in just a moment. And some of you will be planting your publicity garden for three, six, and nine months ahead, right? And so with that, we want to be uh, creating a way that your publicity gets out there consistently and persistently. Write that down so that people keep hearing your name ongoingly. Be consistent and persistent in the marketplace. Now, here's a great way to get that message out and create a message that matters. So look at the word message on the slide. And would you do me a favor and type in the chat, what are the first two letters of the word message? Go ahead, type it in the chat. Me, exactly. Alex gets the gold star because you were first to it. A virtual gold star to you, Alex. Thank you, Vitell, I think is how you pronounce your name. Yes, the word in the word message is me. Now, go ahead. What are the first, you said the first two letters. What are the last four letters of the word message? In the word message, what are the last four letters? Type it in the chat. Sage, Simon gets that gold star on that one. Yes, thank you, Simon. In the word message is me, Sage. Isn't that interesting? Go ahead and type in the chat, what are the first four letters of the word message? What are the first four letters of the word message? Type it in the chat. Mess, Alex, yes. And that's what you want to avoid being a mess, my friends, because the power of publicity is it will help you create a message that works every time, that's systematic, because I believe in having systems in publicity and in as much of your life as possible, right? And it just makes things a lot easier. So one of the things I'm big on is having a system in your publicity every 30 days, every 60 days, every 90 days, and having it be a way that you can create and continue to get that system out in the world and tell people about what you do in a way that is consistent and persistent. And one of the cool things about your message is this is your every 30 day system because I want you to look at your message every 30 days and make sure that you're, shall I say, saying the right things that you want. Some of my clients in this time have changed their message to reflect. I'll show you about that in just a moment. But I want to give you the formula for how to create a great message. And that is you put out this. The problem today is, 
The problem today is, and not like what you do, but what's the problem out there? What's the problem out there? So, for example, I would say the problem today is four out of five businesses will go out of business because you have no clue how to create publicity without spending a fortune. And then, my friends, I want you to give three solutions. Why three, you might ask? Well, because it's a great way for people to remember. People tend to remember in threes. It's simpler for them. It keeps things connected. Over that, it's usually a little, it's a little too much. So I find three works well. So here's my three. Take some notes because I'm about to give you thousands of dollars of PR advice in very simple language. And this is one of the things I want you to do is keep your message simple and use you language. So watch how I do this, check this out. The problem today is four out of five businesses will go out of business because you have no clue how to create publicity without spending a fortune. I wanna give you three guerrilla publicity tips today for how to get your message in the media. The first way to get notice is to create your ooh, ah, factor. The second way is to create the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. And the third way is focus on networking magic and show up in your communities at least twice a month for name and face recognition. Now, my friends, that's my message. And I'm sticking to it <laughs> because when I have to wake up at four in the morning to do an interview in New York, Boston, Chicago, South Africa, Australia, wherever, right? And maybe that isn't my best time of day. I had to do an interview at 11 at night to appear in India, right? I had to do one at four in the morning for New York or so on and so forth. There was one in Toronto one time uh, where I woke up at five in the morning. So it was eight in Toronto, whatever it is, right? The point is that you have to get your message so that it's replicatable. Rinse and repeat, right? So that you don't have to think about it all the time. And I'll tell you something, one of the gentlemen who uh, is a speaker who took my virtual publicity course, I'll let you know about that at the end. He said to me that he shifted his message to do this, like to be this simple, because he kept making it too complicated. He posted it on social media where you can do this message. You can use it in your networking. It's so multi-use. It's phenomenal. And do you know he got 250 likes that day? Well, hey, don't you want that, right? 250 likes is a beautiful thing. Engagement, that is fantastic. And that's what happened for him. So let's talk about creating your, what I like to call, ooh, ah, factor. And we spelled it out on the slide just in case you can't. Um, and one of the things about creating your ooh, ah, factor is you want to use everything you've got. You want to use everything you've got. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm a, I mean, well, it could be anything. It could be your ethnicity, your religion. It could be part of who you are, it could be taking your message and making it so that it's relevant to right now. So for instance, one of my clients, she is a relationship expert. And during the quarantine and lockdown, we called her the quarantine Cupid. Don't you love the mask on the angel? I thought it was cute. And when, you know, I, I have to tell you, she's a psychologist. That's what she really does. She helps People in relationships deal better in relationships. However, when quarantine hit and lockdown happened, which of course in many parts of the world, including me where I am in the Bay Area, we're still in lockdown, just FYI. I know it's different depending on where you are in the world, but I will tell you that what we we're focusing on is what's the message that's gonna work right now. In her case, Quarantine Cupid is what got her on WGN, 50,000 watt radio station out of Chicago, Illinois, what got her on Fox News networks all over in, the, in North America. You know, what is it that you could be tapping into that could be the right message for right now? 
let me show you an interior designer client, for example. You know, we were talking and she said, oh, Jill, like right now, my clients are needing to be, you know, parenting. So of course, their home needs to be a school. They need to have offices for their kids, for their parents to work. They need to be the chef and the, you know, the, the homeschooling. Everything has changed for what needs to happen in the house right now. So as an interior designer, she started helping people recreate their homes so that it worked for right now. That's the story that got her into media, not just being an interior designer. So I, I hope that you're hearing some good ways that you could take your story and create it so that it's magically supporting what's going on, we'll call it right now. So in the next slide, for example, I, I put some uh, categories together for you. If you're in health, if you do anything in mindset, if you're in the area of transformation, weight loss, goals, activism like Black Lives Matter, alternative healers, for instance, or if you're a consultant, if you're an expert in money, all of these, all of these right now might be great ways that you could start creating that publicity, right? So as a concrete example, for instance, I have a woman uh, when Black Lives Matter moments happened and was very, very active, you know, she's a consultant and a communications coach. And I said to her, hold the presses on anything else we've been doing. I want you now to talk about what it's like to be a, uh, a black woman and how to communicate clearly in today's moments. And that was the message that got her in tremendous amounts of media. I have a, a natural, natural doctor. Uh, and one of the things we started doing was uh, creating a story around how to have better health, how to raise your immune system so that in today's moments, in today's world, you will have better immune systems. And that's the story that got far better publicity. So you see where I'm going with all this, I hope, right? As you're looking at this, I want you to think about what's a story that can get much better publicity and might be something that's really relevant to what's happening right now. And when I say right now, I mean the story of the moment, like uh, in the United States with our most recent elections, which I'm sure you all know have been quite uh, complicated and convoluted. And well, I had a dating coach in Florida and we switched her message to can a Democrat date a Republican? And can a Republican date a Democrat? Which got her a full day of TV interviews talking about that. By the way, turns out they can. You just need to know how to communicate. So as you're looking at this and hopefully expanding your mind about it's much more than just what you do getting in the media, I want to share with you some great visibility building activities that I think for all of you would be super to start doing right now. These are all completely free. One is doing exactly what you're doing right now, which is networking in your community with the Vancouver Business Network and Rogers Groups. You're doing visibility building activities, right? And so could you also follow reporters in social media? That's a great thing to do. People who are reporters, you know, of course, in your field, right? And you want to um, not quite stalk them. You want to follow them. You want to contribute. You want to be, I like to call it um, a terrier, not a bulldog. All right, that's really good. Then I want you to sign up for Google Alerts. This is completely free. And then I want you to go to nationaldaycalendar.com. These are all on the slide and take a look at what, what holidays could be perfect for what you're doing. Check out podcasts through iTunes and type in your words, right? Whatever your words are. Like I wrote a book on kindness, so I'm going to go type in kindness. I'm going to see what podcasts are showing up. I'm a publicity expert, so I'm going to type in publicity or business building. And I'm going to see what podcasts show up. And then I'm going to talk to those podcast host. That's a great visibility building activity that will really help you. Go on to blog talk radio and do the same thing. These are really 
simple and completely free visibility building activities that will get you guaranteed publicity and help you get your name out there so that you can keep being known. People are drawn to you. And what I love about the power of publicity is it's an attraction building strategy because what happens is people get attracted to you by seeing your name, by getting, uh, by you becoming more recognized, by you getting out there consistently and persistently. And I promise you more and more people will start knowing your name, creating that, I've heard of him, I've heard of her somewhere, syndromes. And that's a beautiful, beautiful syndrome to have. Also, I want you to go on helpareporter.com. It is perfect for getting your name out there and creating that visibility also to help you get immediate leads and it will show the way. Um, and just it's queries from media who actually need you right now and it's completely free. So go register for that. That'll be really good. Yes, it is helperreporter.com. Now, I wanna show you um, with the profit of kindness, how we implemented some of the things that I'm actually talking to you about right now. So as much as I'd love to tell you uh, that I got a ton of press, which I did for the profit of kindness because I wrote the book on it, that's not true. But what is true is I did exactly what I'm telling you to do, which is I look to see what's the story that's important right now, what's needed right now. And um, God has granted me a great gift and that is the ability to translate messages. So one of the things as I sat there with my own book, like I would do for anyone, is I went like, what's important about this message? And what was important about that message right then was the problem we were having in the United States of America, which we're continuing to have. And that is that we are the divided states of America. Let me tell you, my friends, that's the message. That's the message that got me actually seven Fox TV news interviews in the first eight days. That's the message that got CBS TV morning shows, literally on Inc. Magazine and Forbes Magazine twice. So many other media, you can see them on the last third of the screen. And that's only a third of some of the media. And if you go to profitofkindness.com, you will see even more media, right? And I'm gonna share with you that it wasn't about the book. It's not about your business. It's about finding the right message that helps you get to the hearts and the souls and the minds and the spirits of people so that your message gets out, so that your message matters. And so one of the things, just like I told you to do, is I, I went to Google Alerts and I put in kindness. I went to podcasts and I put in kindness. And I found out, by the way, from nationaldaycalendar.com that November 13th is World Kindness Day. Did you know that? And so we started doing a kindness summit. It was very well attended. And now I'm so excited that we're launching a year of kindness, a year of kindness. And in fact, I'm inviting you all to it um, and thrilled that every single month we're going to connect. We're going to collaborate. Clint is going to post in the chat how you can register for that. Uh, and thrilled that month to month we are going to create those connected collaborative circles where we will enjoy kindness because here's what I've noticed. When you become that pebble and you throw it in the water, though we are the ripples that keep creating that kindness. And you know what else that happens with is publicity. All right. So that's what's so, so important is creating that ripple effect of kindness, that ripple effect of the power of getting your name out there. Now, I want to show you um, what Entrepreneur Magazine said. Entrepreneur Magazine, when I interviewed them for guerrilla publicity, uh, you know, I said, listen, what do you love and what do you hate about, the, about publicity? And Entrepreneur Magazine, look at the last point of what they said, because all of it's important, but particularly, remember in the beginning, I said to you, you've got to plant your publicity garden. 
three, six, and nine months ahead. Why I said that is because Entrepreneur Magazine for their June issue, the writer's deadline is January. For their June issue, the production deadline is March. Check that out, right? That's why we're looking three, six, and nine months ahead, right? I think that's really important. Now, I want to show you about why it's so important to go on Google Alerts. I'll, uh, I'll just explain to you that, um, you know, it's interesting. I was teaching my virtual publicity course, and in the middle, in the middle of what happened, I get this text from a producer in uh, Dallas, Texas of a TV show, WFAA, and they were asking me, um, would I be willing to talk about the largest ad agency in North America being fired because the CEO made a racist comment? And I said, uh, sure, I'd love to because I'm going to teach you. The answer is always yes, right? I said, but listen, I'm teaching my publicity course. I'm available at 4.30 Pacific time. Will that still work for you? Because I know at that time it's now 6.30 in Dallas. And they said, oh, yeah, that's okay. We can record it. No worries. And so on this slide, you'll see this is me actually doing the interview. It's on Zoom. That's what's so super cool about the power of Zoom and the power of media right now is that you can do anything from anywhere, no matter what time zone, and especially with podcasts and interviews that are so much easier to get right now. I hope this has given you a lot of hope, my friends, because here's the super good news. There are 10,000 radio shows and podcasts every single day looking for at least 4,000 guests. You could be one of them. And using these tactics and techniques, I know that you can do it. So, you know, I, I'm just going to share with you that as much as, I, I mean, it was a great interview and I was so excited, but then I couldn't find where was this interview? And only because I was in Google Alerts for Jill Lublin that the next day popped up WFAA and there was the produced version of the interview which I then could use, put on my website because the thing about publicity you need to know is that you need to publicize your publicity. And that's really important too, right? Publicize your publicity. Now, my friends, I'm gonna take some questions in just a moment. Before I do that, I wanna share with you a few things that are really important. Um, one is that you must always say yes. When the media says, can you talk about this? You're gonna just say yes. No matter what they ask you, no matter if you think you can, by saying yes, what will happen is that your media uh, reputation will be enhanced. People will find you on Google. You will be able to quickly and effectively connect to ongoing um, visibility building, right? And most importantly, people will know your name. They'll know, they'll go, I've heard of you somewhere. The trust factor goes way up and your reputation will be enhanced. And I'm going to tell you whether it's a small podcast, big one, whether it's uh, the Vancouver Business Journal, whether it's the Sun, whatever it is, my friends. And no matter what the topic, your answer is yes. You've got me in your front pocket now. And no matter what they ask you, you can fit in you can create that kind of uh, sharp recognition that all of what you're talking about is going to be a big yes. And I'm so excited for you because I know the, the impact of what you being in media will do and, and how much it really will um, ex expand your business, expand your reputation and help you be the messenger that you're meant to be right? Help you get your message out because that's what's key. Now, Roger asked me to let you know how you can continue to work with me. And we've created a wonderful and special training for you. It's called my uh, publicity course and it's virtual. So it's a virtual publicity course. It's, this is one day. 
It's going to get you the kind of attention you need. The, we're going to craft your message. We're going to roll up our sleeves and really like in a, in a in live interactive class, we are going to create three documents that you need for the press to say yes to you. The powerful message. And frankly, remember I said the system, we're going to do that 30 day, 60 day and 90 day system so that by the end of the day, you will know what to do that you're gonna have templates and that you're gonna actually get it done in the course. Get it done in the course. Maybe not perfect, but it'll be done. And I think that's really a good, great thing. So we're gonna just give you all the shortcuts and I'm gonna spill all the secrets that most people will never tell you about the power of publicity. Honestly, people spend a fortune with PR agencies and I'm gonna just give you the best of, we're gonna get it done and we're gonna do it smart and easy and simple, okay? So in this one day, um, really no nonsense, no kidding, tactical, practical, get it done. And we're gonna have you in breakout rooms. It's gonna be live and interactive and it's gonna be strategic so that by the end of the day, you're gonna have what you need to show the media that you're the right one to choose and to say yes to, because you're gonna just have it done. I also know that a lot of people don't know what their message is. And so what I've realized is when, we, when you have your message and you make it so that it's simple and easy and that it's in you, what's super cool about that is you don't have to think about this anymore and your confidence goes way up. So here's the good news. I will tell you that normally this class is over $1,000 and Roger and I have created a very super special for you. Check this out. It's only 197 right now. And uh, Roger, I know that we have a very special link for them. And if you'd be so kind to just let them know what the link is and Clint, if you could put that in the chat. Oh, thank you, Roger. So here is what you do to Get that. And Roger, also, maybe we can say it verbally. That'd be super. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to answer questions from you to help you with what you need next. Go ahead, Roger. What is the link uh, that they can have would be super? Okay. It's uh, typed in the chat, but here it is. Um, HTTPS forward colon forward slash forward slash Jill Lublin infusionsoft.com forward slash app forward slash order forms order slash crash hyphen course hyphen in hyphen publicity vbn okay <laughs> i know that the good news is if you click the link it's going to be very very simple and great news for you is it's a really reduced price seriously it's my pandemic pricing right now and we've never offered it at this but we're doing it for your group we're going to have a great time. It's going to be on February 3rd. And if there is any reason, for whatever reason, you can't make that date, just talk to us. We'll put you in another date that does work specially for you. But this is going to be a very specialized training just for all of you. And I'm super excited to offer that to you. Super excited to work with you. Because my friends, here's the deal. Your message matters. And it's time we get it out there. If any of you have any questions or need to talk to me, I know that Clint is also posting in the chat how you can schedule time with me. Uh, so happy to do that with you also. And excited and delighted to help you get your message out. Your message matters. Now let's turn it back to you and uh, let's connect with you and answer some of your specific questions. Also maybe hot seat some of you and practice with you with the uh, Q&A with the problem solution. And uh, the best way to do that, if you would be so kind is raise your hand actually in the Hollywood squares or raise your hand in the chat and we can help you out right now. I look forward to it. Who's got a question? Hopefully I have some answers. Elizabeth, please unmute and uh, stick and and ver verbalize your question. Uh, 
Elizabeth, oh, there you go. Yes, hi. Um, so, you see, okay. Um, I used to be doing PR for a magazine business in Montreal, and uh, I was under the impression that the old fashioned calling the media, like I used to, wasn't there anymore. So I'm so thrilled to see you. Uh, I really, but you're in the States also. Uh, Montreal is much more of a small village, but uh, how do you use social network? I really thought all the PR people went to social networks. Do you use social networks? Okay, so, so my answer is, and great question. Um, here's the thing. The media has not gone away, my friends. And believe me, I work a lot with Canadians. Okay, a lot. I have a lot of clients from Vancouver, from Toronto, from Montreal, which I love your city, by the way. Um, and let me share with you that, yes, that the power of publicity is quite effective no matter where you are in the world and media is media is media so here's the super cool thing the message that we're going to do together is actually a great message that you can also use on your social media remember i told you about the australian man who actually went through my publicity course mm -hmm. changed his message based on that because that's your 30-day system we're going to do a 60-day and a 90-day system also um, and guess what? 250 engagements that day. That's how powerful wow. getting the right message is that you can then, yes, use on social media. And here's the other good news. Call me an optimist, which I am. But here's the thing. When you get your message right, and we are going to get it right, um, what, what happens happens is because the way now social media is working and because the way that um, it's also connected to media. So for instance, every media has now the dot coms, right? All the magazines, all newspapers, radio, TV, all the podcasts and blogs. So what's happened is we now have extra media. Mm -hmm. And because you can do Facebook Lives, Instagram Lives, and of course, um, uh, what, what am I missing? LinkedIn Lives. What else has happened is that your ability to get media has multiplied many, many times. And I just, I'm so excited by that. Very, very powerful. Um, I have another question if nobody else I hope that helps, one. Elizabeth. Yeah. Um, when we call sure, media please. since... When we call medias in small cities, it's like a village. It's easy to reach people, but how do you find someone? Do you, you must have to talk to a PR agent in order to reach Fox and CBS and Good Morning America. I mean, I'm sure they don't answer the phone like they do in Montreal or Vancouver. Um, <laughs> well, you might be surprised. I mean, here's the, here's the truth. They need you. They, the media, they need you. Listen, mm -hmm. when you watch the news, when you listen to radio, TV, whether it's podcasts, blogs, whether it's uh, traditional media, whether it's social media, here's the deal. You're the news, my friends. You're the news. This mm -hmm. isn't about other people it's about you right and yeah. so I, I hope to give you hope tonight that the media is you <laughs> right it's not other other folks it's you so the point that I'm always big on if I could wave my white flag is let's make the media be talking about you and the way to do that is to find the right message to get the system down to learn the pitch to get creative with it to expand your horizon and possibility about what you're going to offer that's what i'm talking about hmm. and to do it the right way frankly and there is a bit of a right way and an understanding of the systems and how to do it those of you in my course will get that down in in the virtual day no worries, that'll be a big part of it is the system to get it done and get it done the right way. But let me share with you, it media, it's magical. 
meaning bringing you the prospects, bringing you what you want, bringing you the people you need, that is powerful. Thank you. You're welcome. Who else might have a question? How can I help you? Don't be shy, it's publicity. <laughs> How about a hot seat? Who wants to get on the hot seat? I'll help you out with your message. Raise your hand in the chat or raise your hand um, in the box, whatever works for you. I see Perry. Perry, go for it. I am a comedian of 46 years and um since the COVID hit and I can't entertain the seniors anymore because they were the first places to lock their doors. I was told about 10, 15 years ago that uh, I do have a message that I am uh, educating the people that I get laughing to be motivated and look forward to tomorrow. And I have also left them being funny. I've taught them what humor is. And they, when I go back, they say, yeah, everybody's laughing. They're all making each other laugh. And when they're miserable, they make each other laugh. So what I want to do is called humor at ed either education or edification. It's that second word I'm having trouble with. What do I call what I do? Basically, I'm training people to use humor to improve their communications and have their better lives. Um, I have a training in about 15 minutes with a company and uh, they're in Hawaii where you think everybody would be happy all the time because of the nice weather. But I've worked with a couple of companies where I've taught salespeople how to use humor to close. And the other one is HR, how to deal with the unhappy employees. So I'm trying to figure out what would a message be for me when I call the major media. Uh, I mean, I've been on national television, so I got that in back of me. But what do I say when I call and say, hi, this is Perry Kurtz, you saw me on so-and-so, and now I'm teaching people to be funny. What's the best way to phrase that so I can be as successful as Roger is? So a couple things, um, one is, it's not about you being a comedian, but maybe I think, you know, frankly, we all need more funny today. So I would, I would pitch a story about how to have more funny in your life, you know, and I'm doing that purposely, by the way, with the word, okay. um, you know, just because you want to stop people's ears and you want to go, oh, what, what, right. what, what's, he, what's she saying, right? What's he saying? So um, how to have more funny in your life is something that will help many others and support them with uh, having more humor. And, you know, Perry, you could give like two great ways or three great ways to have more funny right now. How to find the funny in today's tough moments might be another great way to make up a story because I think your story is a good one. I do. I like that. It, it seems to work Does really well. You? Yes, it yes, a lot. It, it works really well because, you know, in a senior community, uh, people are not aware of this, but when you get senile, you get angry very easily. And um, what I've been told by activities directors is I've learned how to diffuse that. Like, for instance, if uh, somebody comes into the office and you say, oh, my God, I was going to wear that blouse today. They look down first thing they do is they laugh. That's called relative humor. Uh, I could talk about Elizabeth just re-angled her camera as we were looking at it. Now she's got her hands on her chin. That's relative humor. Basically, you're telling somebody what you're seeing. And if it's about them, they have a tendency to go, oh, yes, I'm getting your attention. So that's what my focus is. Uh, I found that in sales, it works really well. If you're on the phone with somebody, you can get them to laugh at the, for instance, if somebody's eating and you hear them chewing, you say, what are you eating? First thing they're going to do is they're going to go, ha, 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 I'm having a chicken sandwich. So that's my focus. 
uh, I thought about get more fun in your life, but I like the choice of the word get more funny in your life because it does stop the brain and it will make them listen. Um, now my, my exactly. decision is what do I call what I do? Is it humor education or is it humor edification or is it funny implantation or am I just going to screw your life up completely? <laughs> I like uh, option four. Um, <laughs> That's extra. And what I what I say is, <laughs> what I be, caution you and everybody listening, honestly, is don't use big words. Keep right. your language in five year old language. Make it really really simple. And Perry, I can do more with you offline, but I think you want to keep things just really simple and make it uh, easy. Right. And, and remember, this isn't about what do I call myself? Who am I? Da, da, da. People don't care what they care about. You know, what are the results they're going to get? What's going to happen for them? They're going to laugh. That's all they care about. They're going right. to laugh. They're going to feel lighter. They're going to feel happier. Th that's what, that's what you, that's the, what you want to tap into. Okay. That sounds great. Yeah. I've always learned. Hope, uh, okay. The, the kiss, cool. keep it simple, stupid, uh, is really the best way. You don't want to confuse exactly. them. And the less you Let's give them, the really better. Simple. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. Jill, there's uh, two exactly. questions in the chat. You're Curtis. so welcome. My pleasure. Curtis is asking, I'm Perfect. looking to use an alias as a writer. I'm open to suggestions that could allow my message to get out, but remain anonymous. Mm. This question is from Curtis Corbett. Mm, okay. Thank you, Curtis. So um, I guess part of what I'm wondering is why do you want an alias? Like I, you know, I've had a couple authors with aliases. Uh, the, the only issue is, uh, honestly, it defeats name recognition. I actually had one author who decided first she was an alias and then because she was writing romance erotic books and then decided to actually use her real name, uh, just FYI. And we shifted that and it actually helped her a lot. Um, so I just would wonder about why, um, and, you know, sometimes there is a good reason. Sometimes there is a good reason. Uh, but I, I would prefer some name recognition. And if you're going to use an alias, it almost doesn't matter what it is. I wouldn't sweat it. Just make up something that, that you'll remember because <laughs> you got to remember your alias, right? <laughs> Curtis, if you'd like to unmute. I hope that helps. Uh, failing that, we'll move on to Kimberly. Uh, oh, I can, unmute. No, I can unmute. I can unmute. I can offer what I had real quick. Please, far away, Curtis. Sure. So um, I'm a computer engineer by trade, and my writing is um, more about personal development and such. So I'm easily searchable on LinkedIn and, you know, all those different outlets. So my message, I, I always say, I say it's about it's not about you or me. It's about you being a better you and me being a better me and us being a better, you know, world. So that's my reason for being anonymous. And my um, alias actually has um, a relevance where it's um, called WIT. My alias is WIT, W-I-T, and it stands for what is truth. I love that. And I'm going to just repeat, you know, uh, you do not need to have an alias for that. I would absolutely write under your own name. Uh, and I think that's wonderful and, and something, something to be proud of. And that it doesn't matter, you know, what else you're doing. Listen, I have lots of people who are one thing in one part of their world, including engineers and, uh, you know, different people in different uh, industries. And then maybe they're, uh, shall we say, promoting or publicizing a specific independent project. And unless your work precludes it, like you're under contract that you can do nothing else, I would tell you, don't sweat it. Let's get you out there with your name. That's fair. And I can, I would encourage you to do that. Thank you. So Kimberly, you're welcome. My Kim pleasure. Kimberly has a question uh, attached to a bigger mission is big with media like starting a humor for mental health movement. Laughter is the best medicine. I have a feeling that's not a question. I have a feeling that's a statement. Uh, uh, Kimberly, uh, Carolee, I have a YouTube 
channel called Habits to Happiness. I'm concentrating on YouTube to build my presence. Any other suggestions? Mm. So, um, first of all, I, you know, I would tell you that in this pandemic, um, what I've understood, because I work a lot with different people in different um, areas, that uh, addiction, anxiety, depression is at one of its heights right now. Uh, so with that, happiness seems to me to be a solution. How to be happier, what to do to be happier. I think good news, you've got a really important topic for right now. Um, so I would really encourage you to go after, and one thing I, that I'd recommend to you is have a 500 word article that's written, done and ready. I would get your three main points in your message based on what I taught you today. Um, and I think that would be excellent. And then frankly, I'd be pitching the media to, to uh, well, with solutions about the fact that you know how to be happier meaning not you, but that you can help others know how to be happier. You know, um, the, the Breakfast Club um, that you probably know, that, that TV show, took one of my clients who wrote a, uh, what was it? Oh, yes, uh, you're going to laugh at this. It was a how to have, well, better sex book, but we couldn't exactly say that word on air. So we did a story for Valentine's Day for how to be more romantic on a budget. That was how we turned that book into something more, shall we say, uh, palatable that could be consumed and simplified. And so this is what I keep saying to you is, you know, it's sometimes just a switch of how you're putting things out there. Happiness is a really good topic that everybody needs more of. And especially, especially right now. So I would present yourself as a happiness expert, which is by the way, quite topical and interesting and people love it. And um, give people three real world ways to be happy right now. A question from, so the- Thanks, Jill. Vitell, do you think it's good to be present on multiple platforms or to focus all your energy on one? On uh, multiple social media platforms, also what I like to call your drug of choice. <laughs> so um, I tend to like uh, focus on maybe two with, you know, team. I mean, listen, I, I think it's good to have a team working multiple platforms. And um, I would tend to focus maybe on two, right? So I, I think one might be a little too narrow. Three would be ideal, but if you have to pick a middle, pick two. And then it depends who your audience is. You know, like I work a lot with business people. So of course I want LinkedIn. I need to have a strong presence there. And I have actually, you know, hired someone to help me with my presence and to, to help work that with me. Um, you know, so that's where a lot of my people lie because they're business people who I help with publicity. So, I would focus there, but also, um, you know, all my interviews would go on YouTube and yes, I'll do Facebook lives or my, I actually interviewed Jack Canfield, who you probably know as chicken soup for the soul on three great publicity ideas he has. Well, that got put on every single social media platform, but I started him on Facebook, right? So, I mean, it just depends, honestly, who you're after. Some of you will be Instagram, and that's perfect. Some of you might be Pinterest, and that's perfect. If you're, you know, demonstrating something. Depends what form you're in. I would tell you, though, don't go too crazy with it. If you have to just pick one, then pick one and do it well. And stay very narrowly focused. You know, one thing in publicity, I'll tell you that I've always... Um, thought important to people to understand is sometimes you gotta, you gotta build a, a wide net in order to create more fishies. <laughs> and sometimes you gotta go narrow. Sometimes you gotta go narrow, right? So it depends, honestly, each, each of you might be a little different the way I might advise you, but I would just tell you that sometimes you go big and sometimes you go narrow. 
Jill, uh, Jill, last question because of time. It's from Jacinta in Toronto. I had my book published in June 2020 due to pandemic. I have not had a book launch yet. Just posted it on social media so far. Uh, any other suggestions? Social media has been good as well as word of mouth. I've sold 140 copies so far. Any suggestions on how else to get it out there? Question mark. You're gonna love this. Yes, you're gonna love this. This is very gorilla, okay? You ready? Change the date. Change the date. If you self-publish this, all you have to do is change the inner you know, part and nobody knows it was released June 20th. And even if it's on Amazon, so what? You just call that, they're called galley copies. That's for the media and change the date and treat it as a new launch. Let's rock and roll, start it over. Nobody knows and it won't matter. So that's what I'm gonna to suggest to you that, um, that that's gonna make a huge difference and will you can treat it completely new or you can call it a second edition, but I would actually just change the date, treat it like a new release as if it never came out before. Cause you know, here's the great thing about media. If nobody knows about it, it didn't happen, you know, or if it hasn't been talked about in media yet, it's still new. I think that's good news. Lots of options for you now to take your word out there to do it the right way and to get your media multiplied so that the media multiplies you. What do you, mean, and wonderful. What do you mean change the date? I mean that inside, you know, when your book, when you go on the inside, there's a date, uh, wherever mine is, right? There's a date in there that says 2020 in your case. So I'm gonna tell you, you change it to 2021, nobody knows, nobody knows that it came out in 2020. It's a very, um, it'll work, it'll okay. work. It'll be highly effective and you'll treat it like a new release and now you'll do publicity the right way, which is in advance. And you can even, um, like in other words, it doesn't even come out till June. That's now six months in advance. It'll give you a lot more option for getting your publicity right. Okay, thank you. Jill, can you make some concluding comments? You're welcome. We're, at, we're on time. A absolutely. Well, first of all, it's a delight to be here with all of you. Uh, I'm looking forward to those of you joining me in the publicity course. So we're gonna get it done. No nonsense, no kidding. And uh, it's in the chat how to, how to join me. Uh, excited to be with all of you to take that next step. And because, you know, here's what I know about the power of what publicity will do. It'll bring the people to you and make your life so much easier. My friends, you are the messengers that people have been waiting for in your particular industries. I know you're committed because you're here tonight, because you're learning, because you're growing, because you're networking. Now let's get your message out there and multiply the possibilities for you. Glad to be here with all of you tonight. Looking forward to more. Jill, um, on behalf of Vancouver Business Network and the 29 people who are with us, um, I thank you. That was uh, wonderful, concise, to the point, hard-hitting, in-your-face information, just what the doctor ordered for entrepreneurs. Thank you very, very much Thank you. on behalf of VBN and the other 2020-ish meetups that are in the EIN family. We very much appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.